All right, Liam, let's check out one of your GS free ski runs. Here we go. Yeah, 23 cap to 10 for these, uh, these guys to get through. Like we've already said, major improvement over last year. Looking like a racer going for it, right? Some good turns in here. Um, you do a really good job of getting your feet off from underneath us. You're carving. You're, you know, you're pretty clean on these turns. Um, but, you know, how can we make it better? Well... Right now, I think we've, we've talked about this, obviously, but um, you put your skis up on edge by really dumping the hip in and you're then using a counter uh, rotation move um, at the same time as that. And I'd really like to see you use more ankles and knees first to roll the skis up to a high edge angle platform at the top of the turn to really press, you know, push against that platform on the outside ski. Um, and then move the hip to the inside of the turn as your speed's worn it and you, and you need it. Um, it's really hard to pressure the outside ski. At the same time, you bend over at the waist. So it's, it's dumping the hip in, countering, bending over. Really makes it hard to really, really press the outside ski. And you, and you lost it here. You can see your outside ski is drifting on you. Um, you know, your, your, your body, your... All those bones, your skeleton, you like to get it more stacked up to be able to really press hard. And, and that position really doesn't allow us to really press hard on the outside ski, nor absorb terrain. So you go just immediately from, you know, kind of counter to counter. And this is really hard to press the outside ski. And like I said, absorb terrain. If you if you hit a bump, well, you know, you couldn't absorb it. You would be you'd have to unwind that whole thing, stand up taller, unwind the counter to regain your balance, and that's kind of where we want you to be all the time. So I know we're trying to get low, right? We were racers, right, man? We want to get low, aerodynamic, but we really get low by getting our feet off from underneath us as opposed to bending over that much at the waist. Um, you know, it's nitpicky, but the, the hands, you're gonna see yourself, you know, I, lo I love driving the hands forward. Yes, we definitely wanna do that. Um, through the turn, yep. Probably don't know how to get them that close. Yeah, no, you're, you're kind of like clapping for yourself every every time, which is okay. You deserve a clap. Again, I think <laughs> hard to press the outside ski. You're on your inside ski. The outside ski's got really no bend in it. You are on your inside ski right there. Now you move to it because you kind of unwound a little bit of the counter there, right? Towards the end, you got to the outside ski. Again, turn in here, that bent over. Um, you know, you're on your inside ski. Obviously, look at it, it's flat, right? Under you, there's weight on that inside ski. So, you know, as a general rule, um, you know, we like to have our back sort of mimic the, the same angle as our shins. Now, obviously, if you look at that, you got no ankle flexion on the inside leg. So it's, I can't really give you a good example because, you know, I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather like to see you know, this there, and then we'll have the back, you know, mimic it, and, and you're just, just a hair, you know, you're just more. And one of the things, I mean, you, you love to be carving, you love to be always turning, and we could use a little more transition. 
Uh, you're going to come from this on this turn and immediately just start carving back the other way. Immediately carving the other way. Let's just, you know, practice a little more transition. Count one, two, or something. Because in this transition is where we really want to move forward along the ski, the new outside ski, get our center of mass over it and, and move forward, not up. You don't go up, I know that. But a lot of times you don't, in the race course, a little bit static because you're just always carving. You're hanging on the edge. Let's get off that ski, move to the new ski. So ankles and knees first, then move the hip to the inside. Ski yourself into counter more. Let's not try to use it right away. And it's a combination that counter right away is, is dumping the hip in. So I understand, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. But if we can use ankles and knees, we'll probably get rid of some of that early counter. Ski ourselves into counter, right? So we better, and not bend over at the waist as much. Um, so we can better at pressure at the outside ski. And let's work on a little longer, a uh, little longer transition. Uh, and all those things will help. You're doing a great job, Liam. Keep up the great work.